Hello and welcome to the Farpris TV. My name is Araba Olawole Olakunle. It is unfortunate that a lot of young people who are clamoring to be practitioners of the indigenous African spirituality find themselves in the hands of marauders, scammers, and all whatnot. And they find it difficult to even differentiate who is a priest or who is a genuine awo uh, from who is not a genuine awo. And it's unfortunate that the majority of young people have been, you know, um, unknowingly falling into the hands of the wrong people. So it is important for us at the Fabrice TV to address one of these challenges faced by young people who are venturing into African spirituality. Uh, it is important to also outline the difference between a Babalawu and Onishegun and Olorisha and the different stratas of Hawaiism. Let me see, let me use that language. So um, a Babalawu is like a doctor who diagnoses a problem to see the nitty gritty of that problem and prefer possi possible surgical solutions to that problem. Surgical solutions here, here refers to have a boriru. So if Babala will conduct a boriru, also known as sacrifices. Uh, and Onishegu, on the other hand, is more or less like the day-to-day -day pharmacies that we have. Somebody who, or an alchemist, who uh, combines the alchemy of different herbs together to, f to formulate a medicinal portion, either eating, either in soap or different forms or shapes to ensure that a particular solution is being created to solve a particular problem. And an Olorisha is somebody who uses the energies in, embedded in different, different Orishas to solve a particular solutions, uh, to solve a particular problem for different people. Now, there are different people, and although you can come across any one of them, and it does not actually uh, intermittently mean, uh, mean that they are not proficient in their various fields of endeavor. However, uh, outside and Olorisha and Onishi Mbabala, we have Awos who are not practitioners of, we are, they are neither Aborisha or Onishi Mbabala, you could be Awo. Awo in the sense that it could be an Oboni, it could be an Ojubo, it could be a member of Awokpa and all that. By virtue of being an Awo does not give one a tenet to be a diviner or a soothsayer or a solution provider to people. The fact that you are a member of an AWO as an AWO is not a yastic to solve people's life problem. And you're right. So that's 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 second. And um, also inclusively, we also have those who are AWOs of AWO Egungun, AWO Igunuko, AWO Olokun. In the different, they are they are they are open to the miseries of certain Orishas. In their different climes. There are people who are open to the miseries of Egungun. They call them Alawe Egungun, Oshawe Egungun. The people who are so they are they know how to utilize the energies and the powers of Egungun to solve problems that are peculiar to Egungun. There are those in Awo, there are people that those who are open to the miseries of Olokun. They are the Awo Olokun. They call them Awo Awo Molokun Agere. They are open to the mysteries of Olokun and they know how to utilize the energies of Olokun to solve problems that are peculiar to Olokun. However, these people do not come, they are not people that you reach out to for general life problems. There are problems that are peculiar to their department. And it's only Babalao that can tell you that you come. The problem that you are facing, you are going through, can be solved by Olokun. If you thereafter, thereafter, go out to seek out for an hour, looking, there's no problem about that. However, in order for us not to be uh, found wanting or not to fall victims of those who uh, maraud themselves or those who parade themselves as African spiritual teachers or healers or what have you, it is succinct also to say that in Ifa Orisha system, there is no quick fix to solving your problem. So if you are the type of people, person that you are looking for immediate solution to your problem, I am, I am telling you for free that you are going to be scammed. You are going to find yourself in the hands of those who are parading, marauders, scammers, parading themselves as truth babalawos. So now, what does the babalawo do? How do you find out or how do you note who is a real babalawo? Number one is that 
a babalawo must under no circumstances consult for you or divine for you no matter what you bring to a babalawo the first thing a babalawo does is to diagnose the diagnosis of a babalawo is through in far babalawo could use okwele for you babalawo could use ikinfa for you those are the notable uh, divination methods that a babalawo can use for you in divining for you and alorisha or onishegun can use any dilogun to make a um, little divination for you alorisha can also use any dilogun to divine for you so if you go to an ibabalawo's place and the first thing ibabalawo tells you is that uh, you should understand that that is not ibabalawo the person could be an onishegun it's also not to say that the person is not qualified to help you but then there are traits you should know in finding out who a real babalawo is a real babalawo will diagnose for you a real babalawo would tell you what you have come to do a real babalawo would not turn a divination process to a question and answer session in such a way that <laughs> indirectly questioning you who you have come to ifa you have come to orisha you have come because there is you need clarity for a particular matter or for a particular reason and that clarity must be given to you in ilefa if a godo ton imole o ja godo ton imole si un to shokuku to ba wa and that is why during divinations you hear chants like iwo lawo ohun lawo emi lo logberi because you that you have come for divination you are the one who knows the reason why you have, you have come for divination it is Olodumare also that also know why you have come. The Yahoo at that point in time is, is an Ogberi. And until the Yahoo has gone through the process of divination, the Yahoo remains an Ogberi. So it is important for us to note that divination is crucial in finding out and in knowing the next step for us to take. So an Awo will never guess. Ah, boy, your problem to me. Jekatu, Jekatu, let us, let us try. In an Ebabalawo or a quality Awo would never ever guess a solution to your problem because for every problem there is an equal and opposite amount of solution that is divinely um, analyzed to ensure that the solution is provided for a problem so if you come to a babalawo's place a babala will ensure that after divination ifa or urisha we point out the necessary steps you have to take to tackle the problem however that also does not mean that that step will immediately solve the problem because some problems didn't even come there the day uh, at, a, at a particular point in time there are some problems that came that, that materialized by virtue of consistent coming together of certain problems so a babalawo would solve the problem one step at a time so if you meet a babala who tells you that ah if you use this thing ah now 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 your problem will stop my brother my sister run because there is no magic we are not magicians we are not nollywood has actually given us the magician status but i have to tell you we are not magicians so if you come to us we divine for you we tell you what the cause of the problem is most times we even give you some of the things that you are doing personally uh that might actually be an impedance to solve your own problem so the moment we do sacrifice for you there are some more there are some changes that you also have to you know adhere to for you to be able to see the workings of the sacrifice we have done for you in material in in reality so my brothers my sisters if you are looking for quick fix i'm sure it is it is certain that you are going to meet marauders and scammers who claim all the time to be far priest and it is not by virtue of the number of ilekes or the number of um, attire that uh, somebody puts on that determines the person is proficient or not another thing that you also need to uh note is that a babalawo it is very very relevant in the manner of approach in the way babalawo addresses you in the way anushi addresses you in the way anushi addresses you a natural born awo is somebody who has empathy in his body or her body somebody who shows empathy somebody who is willing to see that your problem becomes solved irrespective of what of you 
So uh, it is succinct for us to take out our time to study our environment and be sure they were in the right place. Another thing is that the Babala Wu's house, we are in the, the times and seasons are changing. So a Babala Wu's house is not necessarily as dirty or in the banana plantation or with a red cloth like Nollywood has always shown us. The Babala Wu's house might have tiles. Babala Wu's house is clean. We are clean. We are not dirty people. Tori pe o ni imo toto lo le ba irun mo le rin aboru aboye aboye bo sise please do not forget to watch listen and subscribe to the far priest tv thank you once again